Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for the Eclipse Energy. This is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is just what my guides are giving you for a message. I'm not an astrologer, okay? This is just a message from my guides to you in regards to what this Eclipse Energy is bringing for you or may bring. This reading may or not, may or may not be for you. We're just going to see what comes up. This is what is the eclipse going to do for you, okay? It may not be good. You know how I am. It may or it may not be. We will find out. One of these, one of these, one of these. Then we're going to use this deck right here. What do we got for Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. What do we have for Sagittarius? Well, look at that. Door to personal healing and happiness. Peace. Peace. I mean, they can't get any better than this. I'm telling you what. The door is opening. If you have not went through it already, you are about to. Extreme happiness. Look at how beautiful it is. It's beautiful. Peaceful. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. So yes, we have we have a new I was gonna say new life and that a new life. I mean that's what came to me. And oh whatever. Let's get one of these. Door to personal healing and happiness. That door is opening for you. Look at it, it's beautiful. It is it is beautiful. One card for Sagittarius, please. Ooh, well, past life relationship, you have known each other before. And it's funny, I was, I should just, I should just say things that come to my head. And usually I do some, uh, sometimes I can restrain myself. But anyway, I was going to say, I think there's a lover coming because there's one dove here. Or a bird. I was thinking it was a dove. So I was like, I think there's a lover coming. That's what I was thinking. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. There could be somebody coming. But birds are also a symbol of freedom. Okay, so you guys are breaking free from something. <laughs> I got to show you what's on the bottom. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So I think that it's a time of freedom, breaking free, finding peace, going to a more peaceful place, finding peace in the current circumstances, finding peace with your ex, and then you come together with a past life relationship. That's what this looks like to me. And when this says release your ex, this doesn't have to be an ex. This could be whoever it was that stole your personal healing and happiness. Could be a mother, could be a father, could be a co-worker, could be a sibling. Could be somebody you lived with. Release the person that has stolen your energy, that has caused you stress, that has made you frustrated. Release that person, please. Because you got somebody coming towards you that is going to make you feel very very good okay so you got but you got to release something first and that is no joke so during this eclipse if you have already released somebody could be arriving okay um if you haven't released it may be the time that you release oh no we're not using this deck for it yet we're using this one one card for sagittarius See, I'm jumping the gun. And that's funny. You might want to jump the gun. It, it, one step at a time, Sagittarius. One step at a time. You might need to heal first. You can't skip the healing process. You might think you can, but no, you can't. You can, but then it won't work out. I mean, do you really want to fall in love? Think about it like this. Do you want to fall in love with somebody or do you want to deal with somebody who isn't healed? Do you? You need to take a minute to heal. You ready? 
You ready for this? I know you want to jump the gun. I know that you do. I know that you do. I can see the passion. Look at the passion. It's really nice. It's, 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 it's like a, it's a divine connection. You've known each other before. There's passion there. There's, there's chemistry, right? There is chemistry. Just show it to me already. I want it right now. Please hurry up and show it to me, right? That's what you want. You want to hurry. You want to jump. You want it now. I know that you do. Look at that. Sexual arts. 33. This is the answer to your prayers. Your prayers have been heard. Sagittarius. You are about to come together with somebody that you have a lot of chemistry with. If you are already in a couple, coupled relationship, it could be a really passionate time. Put it that it's going to be a passionate time. Passion is coming. Put it that way. Literally. We're going to read that card. Bring more light into your sexuality. Keeping sexuality alive is an art from very few people. Let me start over. Keeping sexuality alive is an art form very few people truly understand. Are you sexually attracted to your partner every day? It's funny that I asked you about that other question. Sex energy only occurs where there is a sexual polarity. Everyone has both masculine and feminine qualities to give to each other. The only time there is a sexual spark is when one person is embodying more of their masculine and the other person is embodying more of their feminine. The masculine is the unchanging witness, presence, direction, decision making, trying to bring everything to closure and consciousness itself. The feminine is change, life force, light, flowing movement, mother nature, emotions. Do not buy into the myth that sexual attraction eventually dies in long-term relationships. Sexual polarity is an art that takes practice. It can be a subtle, a subtle, I can never say that word, a subtile, whatever, and, the, and lasts a lifetime if you are constantly reinventing your gifts and using your open heart. I really feel like it's going to be a very sexual time. I think that there's a divine masculine and a divine feminine that are coming together. I mean, that's what it really looks like to me. I think this is a past life uh, relationship, a past life connection. I think that it, it's time. It's time. But you know this door is opening it's opening and you're gonna feel like it's too good to be true but I, I I really have to urge you not to rush because I really feel like jumping the gun is not the right move you need to be healed whatever that means I'm not sure I mean but I, I really feel like you guys might want to move too fast or the other person might want to move too fast Anyway, what do we got for Sagittarius during this <laughs> during this eclipse? <laughs> well, it, come on now. This is a wish. This is your prayers have been answered. Your prayers have literally been answered. That door is opening for you. A wish is being granted. Well, but there is a, there's a change first. There's a release. There's a realignment. So that's why we have release your ex. This is a major life change. This is releasing that false sense of security. This is dealing with some destruction, some upheaval to get your blessing, to get your wish, to fulfill your dream. You're going to have to deal with some sort of, you know, fated change. Of course, you know, this is an event. This is a realignment that may not feel good. It may not be easy. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Emperor. It's not going to be easy. It's not. It may make you angry. It may make you frustrated. You may be dealing with an individual who frustrates you, who pushes your buttons, 
who likes who who really really pushes your buttons this person maybe poke you poke you poke you poke you try to really get you going um yeah this you could be dealing with an unhappy camper you might be dealing with an unhappy camper who really you know goes into attack mode it almost feels like this person goes into attack mode because you know you decide to honor your truth you decide to do what's right for you so be prepared be prepared for some upheaval seriously be prepared for some upheaval maybe even a fight with the seven of wands you might need to protect yourself you may need to protect yourself okay because whoever you're dealing with may not be happy that you have decided to work with somebody else or to go someplace else or to work for somebody else or you know <laughs> whatever whoever you could be dealing with an Aries you could be dealing with a father you could be dealing with a stepfather you could be dealing with somebody who is very masculine somebody that um, is jealous of you you could be dealing with an angry individual who isn't happy about you know your newfound personal healing your your newfound happiness they don't want you to be happy you know so whatever they're unhappy you are dealing with an unhappy camper and I think that you are wide awake I think that you have taken your power back or you're about to take your power back or the power is going to be put right in your hand Sagittarius it's like you are going to now be the dominator here I think whoever you were dealing with that was trying to dominate with for you I think they're about to you know it's going about to be crumbling come crumbling down for them whoever it is that you were dealing with but their, 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 their whole world is about to crumble and I think their whole world is about to crumble because you're taking the power in your hands or the powers being given to you um knight of swords moving very swiftly we got somebody here that is is moving very very swiftly in a new direction in a hurry <laughs> oh yeah we do have somebody that's in a hurry that's no joke so we do have somebody that is in a rush in a rush to work with somebody else but if you still got anger pent up inside, you got to deal with that anger first because it's not fair to the other person. It's really not. So this is this is a, a block in communication or no messages or uh, things not moving very very quickly and somebody wanting it to move very 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 quickly. We have uh, this is lack of healing and that's that makes sense. I feel like you have just stepped into your power. But you're going to need time. You need time. Don't rush. Please don't rush. Take your time instead of rushing. Please. Please. Because if you rush, you know, speeding causes accidents. Think about that for a minute. Speeding, not just in your car, speeding doing anything causes an accident. So take your time. Take your time. I feel like, you know, the door has opened for you. And I think that you're very, very excited. And you should be excited. But I think that you need to protect yourself. You need to move slow. You need to, um, you're probably going to have to make some compromises. You're going to have to deal with the anger that whoever has caused you. You've got anger that you need to deal with. You do need to heal. You can't skip the healing process. Um, there could be some health issues that you still need to deal with. Maybe you need to work on your health during this time. Um, I think that we have somebody here that is acting pretty hastily. They're in such a hurry probably to come together with somebody else because they see this, you know, they have this, this attraction, but you, you just got to, you know, slow and steady wins the race. And that is no joke. Okay. Hard work pays off. It does just, just put in, put in the effort, keep working hard and you will get what you want. You are moving towards victory and success. You are going to be triumphant. You are taking the reins. You are the boss at this time. You are mastering your emotions and you are he headed in the right direction. So if you have any doubts, I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't because you are going to receive. It's like you're receiving a, a wish is being granted for you because you have stepped into your power. You have honored your truth and now they're going to bring you some. So this is a reward. They're going to bring you a reward for dealing with whoever it was that tried to control you. I think that you were trying somebody was trying to control you and I think that you took back your power and because you did that you know victory and success is coming your hard work is about to pay off but you don't hurry please do not hurry this is you being in the driver's seat dealing with the opposition love is coming love is coming could be from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be from anybody. If cancer a couple times, you have everybody here, so it doesn't really matter. But this is, if you are the woman, or it doesn't even matter. If Whoever this is, this is a big opportunity for love. 
huge huge somebody that's going to take care of you somebody that is very compassionate somebody that is loving loving somebody that has a big heart somebody that is emotional this will be a very intense connection but if you're still suffering if you're still crying over the loss if you are still grieving you need time to heal okay there's a grieving process that needs to happen even if you hated that person you still need to go through those stages okay you do you do so there probably is going to be some sort of opposition that you need to find the ability to master your emotions to get through this grieving period so that you can be available for this person you know when this person comes in but anyway there is love there is love here um big change is coming big change um basically from darkness to light that's what I see. I think that you are you're going to need time to adapt to your new circumstances, okay? Because this is a major life change for you. I think that you have been in a very, you know, unstable situation for a long time. And it's going to take a minute for you to regain your own stability, your own strength. You've got you to gain your strength back. You've got to work on your health, okay? So give yourself some time. You are about to unite with somebody that you have known before. But in order for it to be successful, you're going to have to restrain yourself. You're going to have to master your, your emotions. You're going to have to deal with all the opposition, which does include this person that you're, that you're releasing. And, you know, to, to do all that at the same time, it's going to take perseverance. It's going to take a lot of strength and it's going to take uh, discipline and it's going to take time. So give yourself time. You are about to come together with, you know, somebody that you have known before. Good luck.